Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how we can use Node-RAID to connect with HiveMQ free public MQTT broker. Okay, so you can navigate to this website to get the details of free MQTT broker by HiveMQ. Here is the broker host name or IP address and here is the TCP port. Okay, so if you want to connect with this broker in the Node-RAID, then how you can do that. So that thing we are going to cover in this video. So here is our Node-RAID and we want to connect with Hive MQ free public MQTT broker so we can use MQTT out node to send the data to MQTT broker and we will going to use inject node to send the timestamp data okay so I have connected this to node after that in the timestamp node you can see in the payload we are going to send the timestamp okay and in the MQTT node we have to configure our MQTT broker so right now uh, I have already configured mosquito broker, but we want to configure or we want to send the data to this HiveMQ free MQTT broker. So we have to configure that. So here we have to add new MQTT broker, okay, which is our HiveMQ MQTT broker. And uh, in the server name, you have to provide this broker host name, or you can say the IP address. So you have to copy it from here. And then you have to paste it here and the port is 1883 it's a tcp port okay as you can see here tcp port and uh, yeah that's it so we can click on this add to add the mqtt broker configuration now we have to specify on which topic we are going to send the data so i'm going to send the data on pylane underscore topic okay and the quality of service we are going to use is zero and uh, it's our publisher that's it we can click on this done button and we can press ctrl d to deploy our solution okay also i'm going to add one debug node here to display the current timestamp data okay so that's it so you can see it's connected now i can publish my data from here you can see this data is published but where i can see that data okay so i can use mqtt explorer software to see that data it's mqtt client software okay which can act as mqtt subscriber or mqtt publisher it can act as a both now here you can see hive mq free broker okay now here is the host name or ip address and here is the port now we will click on the advanced button and here you can see I have added this topic which we are going to publish the data and which we are publishing the data pylene underscore topic. Okay, so we have already subscribed to that topic. That's why we will receive the data directly. Okay, I'm going to connect with it. Okay, now let me open these two things parallelly and uh, I can, you know, inject it here and here you can see we have the data and here also you can compare the data 171 okay and the ending is 543 i can again inject and here you can see the new data okay so this is how you can use this uh, hive mq free public mqtt broker in the node grid to send the data to mqtt broker and with the help of any mqtt subscriber software or M any mqtt client software you can collect this data if you are using a node grid to send your temperature humidity and any other sensor values to mqtt broker then you can receive the data in any of the mqtt supported device it can be your mobile phone it can be your tablet it can be your laptop or you can also configure that in your SCADA system okay also some uh, android application is there to connect with this kind of broker and to receive the data so you can make your custom application as per your requirement with this free public mqtt broker okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can use node red to connect with this hive mq free public mqtt broker and how you can send the data if you want to send some other data then also we can do that so instead of timestamp if you want to send any string okay uh, suppose hello from node red i want to send this string then also i can do that i can deploy my flow and i can send that string here okay so that is also possible so if you still have any question or doubt regarding this then you can comment on this video i'll surely answer your question okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can use node rate to connect with hive mq free public mqtt broker to send and receive the data you can also receive the data let me show you that also uh, you can use mqtt in node 
you can use hive mqmqtt broker and here you can subscribe to the same topic okay so pylin pylin underscore topic and i'm going to use quality of service zero and i'm going to use the debug node to display the data and we will display the data on the node status okay and uh, that's it i can send it and here you can see we have received this data if i change message two okay and if i deploy my flow if i inject the data then also i will receive the same data here okay so this is how you can use node rate to send and receive the data it's our subscriber okay so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any question then you can put that question in the comment section so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you